Goodreads. If you guys haven't heard of Goodreads before, it is this website where you can track your reading progress. You can also look up books that you want to know more about, you can read reviews, you can do a lot of amazing things on Goodreads. I think that one of the most popular things on Goodreads though is their Goodreads yearly book challenges. So you can pretty much set a goal of how many books you want to read that year and then you can track your progress the entire time. And I have been doing that since I first got Goodreads in like 2012 or something like that. And for the last two years, I have failed my Goodreads challenge. Challenge. And I think like the last time that I failed it, I probably failed it by like I think three books. In 2016, I think I failed it by about 15 or so books. Both times I've had my goals pretty high. Back in 2015 it was 150 books and last year it was 100 books. And this year I've only set my goal for 50 books. What has really stopped me from reaching my Goodreads goal is just things being so busy that I don't have as much time to read as I used to. And for a while it got me really sad because I didn't feel like I was as much as a reader or that I was doing justice to you guys because I haven't read a lot of books so I didn't feel like my opinion mattered as much. But then I kind of like looked around and I was like, gee, that's a shitload of books you know. And gee, I'm pretty committed to books you know. And then I thought that my reading challenge shouldn't be affected by what I think other people will think or what other people are saying. It is my reading challenge and my reading goal and my life. So I kind of went from like being really upset about this to actually kind of being overjoyed because I had that sudden realization that I don't really care anymore about the size of my TBR or how many books I read or if I don't even read any books in any months because at the end of the day, books are still my saviors and I still love them as much as I did two years ago or yesterday or at any point in my life. There apparently have been people shaming others for setting such a low Goodreads goal. So I kind of just want to say to those people that whether you read one book or 1,000 books, it doesn't really fucking matter. If someone likes books and they say that they are a book reader and that they enjoy it, it doesn't make them any less of a book person than you. I think that all this different book social media, which is the greatest thing that has ever happened to me, has also made a lot of people's minds kind of skew when it comes to reading and that they feel like they're kind of a better reader because they have more followers or something like that. We all are here for one reason and it's because we enjoy reading. We love books, we love stories, we love fictional characters and I think that's something that we can all get behind and smile about and talk about and enjoy. Instead of trying to pull the negative things out of people and their books and their reading choices. So, wow. I don't really know how this uh, video was gonna go until now. This is called like my Goodreads challenge and I've really just turned it into a kind of rant. So let's get back on track. Uh, my Goodreads challenge, ah! My Goodreads challenge is 50 books and I say that and I haven't even read a book yet this year. I've picked up The Book Thief because I really wanted to start the year on one of my all time favorite books and I've read like one chapter. Yay! But I'm totally cool with that because I have months and months and months left to read and I'm just happy that I'm surrounded by books and people that enjoy them too. And I think that if I don't reach 50 books on my Goodreads challenge this year, I might just stop doing challenges altogether because it's not a competition. Not for me, not anymore. And when I say that, I don't mean to offend anyone. Like. I find that a lot of people do read books in a kind of competition atmosphere. Having a goal really does encourage a lot of people to read more, but it doesn't work for me anymore. So yeah, stay cool, stay reading, stay bookish, and stay friendly. Thank you guys for watching, and I hope you guys will have a lovely bookish day and that great things happen to you. Change. There's like all the new releases that will be coming out this year and it is a really 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 long list So I'm not going to go into too much detail about all 